Hi everyone, welcome to Clarity's product webinar that happens the first Wednesday of each month. I wanna take a moment to introduce you to today's host, Chris Neville. He has more than 25 years experience developing nutritional products and he's the Vice President of Product Development for Clarity. And might I add, the mastermind behind Clarity's flagship nutritional drink called Calibrate. And if you're new to Clarity, welcome. It's a cutting edge, bioenergetic wellness company. And before I turn the webinar over to Mr. Chris Neville, I do wanna let you know that he will be interviewing our very special guest, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael. She's a world-renowned innovator and educator who has taught holistic health worldwide for more than four decades. And she received the Medal of Honor at the World Summit on Integral Medicine. She served as ambassador for the World Organization on Natural Medicine. And Dr. Michael was knighted for her humanitarian service. I could go on and on, but I do want to let you know that she's currently working on providing energy wellness centers to United States veterans. And so with that, I want to turn this over to Chris Neville. Hello, Chris, are you there? Thank you very much, Michelle, and thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, absolute wonderful to have you on the, as guest today. And as Michelle rightly said, there's so much more we can share about your extraordinary background and, and gift. Um, and today is, a, a, is really a, a starting point for 20, 2018 um, that, represents a, a huge possibility as far as people understanding um, the greater possibility of getting well and staying well. So welcome to the call. Hey, aloha. It is all about energy. And if everybody knows the future of medicine is really energy medicine uh, because we don't get more energy or more aliveness by putting in more dead stuff. So we need things that are going to give the body the energy, the bioactive energy, the energy the body relates to to heal itself. So just on that note there, Dr. Sandra, there's, uh, what we want to do is break down, you know, this uh, idea of, you know, quantum signature enhancement technology or what we refer to as QSET. Can you maybe perhaps just um, in basic terms for somebody who's just a newbie, understanding that the body is just not a physical construct, it's also an energetic construct. Maybe what, what bioscalar is? Um, because the body is actually um, bioscalar by nature. All life is energy. So you have the electrical conductivity where in the, what we call the cell membrane potential, which is the actual charge or millivoltage at a cellular level, cellular millivoltage. And that becomes very, very important because we're meant to be functioning at, you know, minus 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy. And cancer doesn't exist till that's below 20. So we want to raise that energy level in the body because the power that made the body heals the body, but how do we plug back into that cosmic light socket and turn the lights on literally at a cellular or at a DNA level? It really goes to the core of the DNA and, and working with the matrix. Everybody has heard of the movie, The Matrix. Well, this is like the matrix meets Star Wars medicine, you know, because we just had Star Wars come out now too. And, uh, what this creates a disturbance of health is a disturbance of the photonic energy, the light force energy, you know, that light force in the, in the cells and in the body. So we want to raise that cellular millivoltage, raise that light force energy, that spark of life, get everything turned on because when the body has the right energy, it wants to heal everything it wants to function more and more perfectly and optimally all the time so just on that note there dr sandra i i often try to convey you know the concepts of um scalar energy or the energetic system of the body is more like the internet rather than the internet and the internet for me is understanding that there are energy systems in the body that act very much like the internet and if the, um, 
the communication system of the transfer of information and energy between and the, uh, within and around the body is interrupted, it's almost like it creates this buffering effect. Would that, that's an accurate picture for you? Uh, yes, absolutely, because everything's about the cell signaling and the body being highly electrically conductive, um, conductive of charge. And how do we increase that charge versus most, you know, and I've been teaching more than 40 years. That's why I was laughing. Um, but, you know, how you increase the charge. And I've been talking about how most supplements, most supplement companies, the, the supplements, what you find on the shelves. I've been finding and teaching for more than 40 years that about 95% of the supplements on the market um, either are less than beneficial or downright detrimental because it's just more stuff that the body is using its energy to try to cope with. And so you want to give things that really actually truly enhance light force or life force energy in the body because, again, all life is energy. And part of the nature of scalar is that superconductivity. So the neurotransfer, uh, you know, is that enhanced neuro neurotransferability, the cell signaling, the uh, electrical conductivity being enhanced. So the body can deliver all the information to every cell and raise that millivoltage with that charge, literally like you're plugging the body back in the cosmic light socket and delivering that charge. Uh, and the regular ingestion of charged products using charge the um, you know the Q set infused or embedded um, resonates, you know the medallion that people can wear or carry, that helps maintain that charge, that integrity through the body. So that would be like, um, in real terms, um, assisting the body to maintain balance or homeostasis, a bit like the, you know, what I refer to as coherence, where there's no buffering. And if you've got that as a, um, as a foundation, then the body spends more of its time in getting well, staying well, rather than just combating and trying to identify, as you mentioned um, rightly, you know, some vitamins are just prepared and it looks great on the label, but the body still has to try to unjump, uh, un unravel uh, and, and unjumble the, the, the ingredients in a way to, uh, I guess you yeah, the body doesn't recognize it. They does recognize not it. recognize it as something useful or yes. something that enhances it. Instead, it's just trying to take, it takes the body's energy then to just try to cope with it. So it, it, it doesn't allow the body to come out of, you know, to really maintain that dynamic homeostasis. I like to talk about dynamic homeostasis where it's that continual reorganization to higher levels of function versus just trying to cope with stuff and being stuck in the whole cascade of all the stress hormones where the body is, you know, reacting and staying stressed out rather than responding totally appropriately, having the energy to respond to the stressors. And so it's, not stressed out, but able to respond from that point of balance, homeostasis, balance, and continue to reorganize to higher levels of function where the body can use everything to support, um, you know, greater health and greater wellness. So it, it, it's, the scalar charge is unique for that. And we talk about coherence, and that's that clearing of any impedance. So you're, you're clearing the circuit jams when you have a true scalar embedded charge that can be delivered to the body. It's literally like plugging it into that light socket. So it's a, it's a great point there about the, the coherence and plugging back in. Uh, one one um, example that I, I love sharing with people is that, you know, plants can't read brochures. They just either thrive or they die. And one, one of the simple little experiments I love to share with people is using the resonate on a glass of water and, and having it um, change and then just using the same water, but without a resonate on two different plants. And you'll actually see that one will thrive 
more over time than another. And it's a simple little experiment of seeing how life begets life. Yes? Yes, and, and that's very, very true. The resonate looks like a donut. It's, it, it very much looks like a red blood cell because that's that infinitely projected Mobius pattern on an axis, which is a definition of scalar or torsion field. So this helps maintain that ideal optimal structure and structuring in the body. Uh, but as such, it's also able to deliver the charge and maintain that that absolute ideal structuring of water. So it's, everybody talks a lot about structured water these days and the importance to health. Well, this clearly demonstrates a restructuring of the water. And with the phase conjugate wave pairs coming together, it's an implosion that releases charge. And that release of charge then, you know, as it relates to the water, it's restructuring it. But you can see you, you, the little bubbles that are produced as, you know, people can put the medallions with their water and it'll reduce the surface tension or as Dr. Glenn Ryan um, clearly demonstrated and enhance the electrical conductivity of both water and, and enhance the electrical conductivity of the DNA itself. These yes. are his lab tests. This is our Stanford biophysicist lab test with DNA and enhancing that electrical conductivity of the DNA by 28%, which is extraordinarily profound. But it's that in infinitely projected Mobius pattern. It's releasing the active oxygen. So you've got like an oxygen therapy with the active oxygen, but also even more important, you're going to be hearing a lot about active hydrogen and the importance of hydrogen. Everybody's been hearing about pH and the importance of pH in, in health and wellness and healing, that we need an alkaline environment. Well, pH is hydrogen potential or the power of hydrogen. Hydrogen is your ultimate antioxidant. And it's literally like the fuel for the cells. And that act of hydrogen becomes very, very vital for supporting the alkalinity of the body and supporting the cell membrane structures because it allows the, um, the well, let's talk about that. It's really, really important because it increases the energy covalent level of every single hydrogen atom in the body. And so it, it's, a, it's a really a, a profound moment, and I want to pause on it, if you will, and, and that is that you, you, you mentioned about liberating hydro, hydrogen in the body, which is an antioxidant. So this is a way of being able to support the body, again, producing and having access to this internally generated source of antioxidant activity. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct and vital and supporting the ATP production. You know, we've done testing uh, with mitochondria and extraordinarily enhanced quadrupled uh, mitochondrial activity, which then supports your healing function from the very mitochondrial level. That's your power plant in the body, producing the energy where the body acts younger. This is true anti-aging medicine, but it's but this reduces the inflammation in the body because the body will get stuck in this inflammatory or broken inflammatory process, which all disease, aging, pain comes from acute chronic inflammation. So we're back to that reset at a genetic level, level the epigenetic expression being reset to an ideal optimal matrix where the body has the ability to respond to all the stressors maintaining its own strength and integrity uh, in, in like that infinite, infinite energy. You know, the, um, you know like I said, it, it looks like an infinitely projected Mobius. That's your standing columnar wave. Um, but uh, scalar is more field-like than wave-like. And it's literally able to implant or embed within the products and deliver that charge through the DNA through all the cell structures and increase that covalent uh, hydrogen, uh, covalent level of every single hydrogen atom in the body, the, that charge and, and the repair of the breaks in the DNA. So again, shifting that 
genetic expression to its ideal optimal matrix. Uh, I mean, this is um, you know, looking at the you know more ancient and cultures like the traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. Their their whole practice for thousands of years have been around the understanding that this chi, this ki, this prana life force in and around the body was the starting point of getting well or staying well. But before the introduction of herbs and that into the body, it's, it was like getting the energy flow right. Why is having balanced energy system in the body that's not necessarily regarded by traditional mainstream medicine has been valid, but it has been validated as we know by, by science. But what, why is it so important to have this energetic system of the body balanced uh, and in, in uh, optimal function? Well, and again, back to um, you know, our Chinese Qigong grandmasters, and we've been recognized as the qi technology because it regenerates the source qi, the light force, that one qi in the body. But, and back to the Ayurvedic side, the, the understanding of chakras, and those chakras are all like that infinitely projected Mobius. They're scalar vortexes. So this is energy that the body relates to. And in healing, it was also using the substances that the body can identify and use for repair, rejuvenation, regeneration in a dynamic homeostasis or that point of like zero point balance where it's coherence, reorganization into coherence where you're clearing that impedance or, you know, the, the fuzzy signals or the circuit jams and and the circuit breaks and, and where everything can, you know, share that charge. And that's very demonstrable through, uh, you know, the uh, demonstration of the photonic emissions and how that you can observe that with curly and different curly and testing, myoelectrography and things like that. But essentially, by the fruit, you know, um, effectiveness is the measure of truth. And this is, they find these things to be very elegantly effective as far as supporting the body in achieving ideal states. And part of the, the benefit of that release of charge, you know, with scalar is it nullifies the detrimental effects, neutralizes, nullifies, or collapses the detrimental field effects, such as from your Wi Fi and your cell phone and the radiation, whether it's you know, ionizing or non-ionizing radiation. But the radiation is a huge issue as far as it creates the unzipping or breaking down of of the DNA. So what radiation creates are these are the electrosmog from the cell phones and and the Wi-Fi, et cetera. It creates accelerated aging or accelerated uh, you know detrimental destructive field effects causes breakdown in immune function and breakdown in health and ultimately causes the cancers because of the way it unzips the DNA and creates a disturbance in the force. Literally, yeah, it's, it's, a, it, it's a really great point that you're making there. I mean, we're, we're in uh, 2018 just now and there is such a prevalence of uh, wireless devices and you know the human being hasn't evolved with electricity it hasn't evolved with the introduction of wi-fis and going to g4s and g5s and some of these other um, more advanced technologies that are really invisible to our eye but they're not invisible on on, a, on another spectrum and what you said was um, really important and that was that you know the the effectiveness of something is really the the truth of the um, of the technology itself. You can actually measure the field effect change when you you have a, a resonate on the body around the body. You can test the body's resilience within um, day to day life as a result of just wearing this. Correct. That's correct. And I know some of your people have been doing some great testing over there. Uh, but especially one of the ways it's easiest to see it is with light blood cell analysis, where you're actually looking at the uh, red blood cells and the change in, in when, the, when the bloodstream, when there's the right charge in the bloodstream, how the, the 
the red blood cells can carry the oxygen. You see the oxygenation, and you also see the fluidity. There's no more sticky blood. You know that whole thing of people, people having stuck together, <laughs> con- congregate, as, you know, aggregate blood. You know, you no longer need the blood thinners if you have perfect circulation of the blood carrying the oxygen to the brain, to the organs, to, you know, through the cell. You've got that oxygenation and the microcirculation, which, you know, to every organ. So that's going to feed that body in a way that's very, very profound. So with, with the enhanced circulation we know that um, not only the the transport of oxygen in but it's also critical for detoxification so uh, the the importance of um, this bioscalar technology being infused into products therefore allowing um, just an easy access to more and more of the energy that nourishes the body that allows body to start to regenerate and repair by detoxification can you maybe comment about that particularly with the uh, the change in the uh, the, the cell uh, wall potential there too yeah and and it's very simple in one way to understand because detoxification is absolutely critical for health uh, enabling the body to open up the detoxification pathways the, um, the immune function uh, the lymphatic system so the body can clear the metabolic waste, et cetera. But a lot of research has gone into that. A lot of the causes of disease is from a buildup of heavy metals, including the radiolytic isotopes of, of um, you know, from radiolytic isotopes from radiation are also heavy metals in the body. You know, hot particles and things like that. But yeah. what happens is when the body has the right charge, it can discharge those heavy metals, those, you know, toxins, uh, metabolic toxins, or PCBs, or glyphosate, and these things that have been creating havoc in the body. The things that, you know, are carcinogens, the known things that create cancer, which includes your cell phone now that has been recognized as a um, you know, by the um, World well, Health Organization, yeah. known carcinogen. So how do we reverse those effects and stay healthy in a, a totally toxic environment? Well, the phase conjugate wave pairs come together with, with scalar to, you know, in, with an implosion type event, it's like implosion or fusion that releases charge. Well, that charge then allows the body to discharge the heavy metals and the toxins very elegantly, very efficiently. And so you do want to drink a lot of water. You want to put your resonate with your water to make it super hydrating. I just met uh, again with our physicist. He's going to write up the papers about how is that 28% reduction in the surface tension of water. This is critical. And we talk about structured water, making it uh, so it's easy for the body to be hydrated, structured water, uh, that reduce reduction of surface tension because a lot of aging is simply dehydration in the body. People, you know, so you want the right structured water for the body to also be able to uh, flush the toxins and plump up the cells and, and stay hydrated. So this becomes very, very critical. I just met with uh, our physicist on that, and and he's going to write that up, which is great because it's, he tested the water five years later. He still has the sample and uh, has been retesting it every year, and it's still maintaining that difference of 28% reduction in surface tension, which is absolutely statistically significant and profound, and especially profound as, it, as in how it affects the body. So this is exciting. It's an exciting time that we're in. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. I just, yeah, so I just met with a physicist up in um, Reno. He's a professor of, of physics teaching quantum and nuclear physics. And so he's very, very excited to be working with us. And um, yeah, uh, he he paid me the best compliment ever for somebody that's been uh, an admiral 
in the Navy, but teaching nuclear physics and quantum physics, he said I communicated impeccably or <laughs> flawlessly uh, to where she totally got how the physics plays into the biophysics and it's the biophysics that drives the biochemistry and creates all the effects in the body, but also how the body were actually a circuitry. It's electrical, mechanical engineering and physics. And it's really nuclear physics as far as in how the body works. So, so you just said something, Dr. Sandra, you just said something very important there and, and I, I do want to pause on it. And that was that the, energetic system of the body drives the biochemical system of the body and that it truly yeah. unless there's an electron exchange there is no biochemical activity so it's 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 so fundamental that most people miss why it's so important yeah and, it, and the truth is there are, you know liquid crystal structures in the collagen network comprising all of the space between cells and that's your cell membrane potential which is you know, then that capability of holding the charge. So if, if you're to try to convey QSET to somebody um, and, and that let's call it the, our product calibrate as an example, somebody may read the ingredients on the label and go, wow, that's really cool. I've heard about some of these in, uh, ingredients and I'm familiar with some of the science or, or not on the epigenetics or nutrigenomic benefit. The introduction of QSET, the introduction of bioscalar enhancement to that product or to any product, what does it do and how does it support the, uh, the body in relationship to the ingredients or the nutrients? Well, it is designed specifically to create a whole nother synergistic effect in that it reorganizes everything into its highest expression. It's designed to take all those ingredients and bring them up to the highest potential of what they could be and should be doing in the body with total coherence, total congruity, uh, total effectiveness with that charge that the body relates to. And so it's delivering the information to the body. These are dense intentional informational fields, delivering the informational, you know, um, to the substructures, that's your cell signaling and all that, giving body the information and the energy to heal itself. But this creates a whole other expression with the, the input or the embedding of the scalar charge onto phenomenal ingredients. Okay, so you've got individual ingredients, each with their own phenomenal research and effects. But what happens when you bring that together into its highest potential where you've got a true epigenetic or nutrigenomic formula that the body uses to perform at its highest peak potential. I, I love um, an example that um, I've, I've used on, on a number of occasions trying to describe the, uh, the effect of, of bioscalar infusion. And I think of it in terms of uh, an orchestra and an orchestra being um, each of the ingredients, being each of the musicians that come together in this formula and that this conductor at the front, who's not even playing, is a silent musician. There's just this, this timing mechanism that comes in and the orchestra from being separate now comes into this unified, cohesive, um, sound scape known as, you know, orchestral music or, or, or a concert or this beautiful piece that is the balm rather than just the individual ingredients that are trying to be assimilated by the body. There's a way to be able to bring them together that there's a harmony. A harmony. Yes, yeah. you can literally harmonize with resonant fields and coherence and congruence. And you've got a symphony of beautiful music versus disharmony in the body or dis-ease. Yes. But you've got and, well, this is um, definitely a topic we could, we could go on for. I, I know that um, when we've conducted um, events in the past and certainly into 2018 and beyond, uh, whenever you share, it is also one of the, the highlights of the event because there's, there's such a, a fascinating field when we start to 
recognize that the body is not just what we can see and measure, there's also this invisible field that um, we can now measure. Fortunately, some of the instrumentation is actually caught up with, you know, traditional Chinese medicine and an Ayurvedic medicine and measure the shift in the energetic nature of the body and therefore the functional impact of organs and systems of the body. And that's a really um, an exciting um, era for this new um, emergence of energy medicine and, and the bioscalar technology is without doubt um, the leading light within that space. I have no doubt about that. So I just want to say, you know, firstly, thank you. And I'd love to have you back at some stage during 2018 to, to share some more because it's, it's a fascinating topic and, and what you've done to um, create the technology that we are fortunate to use for the QSET infusion of our products is, is changing lives. And that really is the, uh, the bottom line uh, benefit. Whether somebody gets the understanding of what QSET is about or what bioscalar fields are about, it's really about the energy systems of the body, the energy that makes the body, heals the body and supporting the um, greater um, function and ultimately um, happiness. So do you have any parting um, thoughts or words, Dr. Sandra? Well, again, effectiveness is the measure of truth and the truth that sets us free, literally from a cellular knowingness level, free from dis-ease, free from disharmony, free from the toxicity, you know, that freeing up of the toxins and, the, and behind the toxins, the toxic emotional things. That we, this is a very, very exciting, exciting, exciting time. And the cells literally get excited you know it's that excitement at a cellular level and that's part of the gift of scalar the power that made the body heals by plugging into that cosmic light socket and let's get excited about our lives and let's create 2018 to be the healthiest and happiest year yet of peace and healing and prosperity for all humanity Thank you so very much, Dr. Sandra. And I'd like to uh, make a very special thank you to those who have taken the time to listen in to, to kick off uh, 2018 here uh, at Clarity. And we look forward to catching up with you in the, in the coming days, weeks, and months ahead. And uh, by all means, if you haven't um, accessed the past webinars on our website, please do so. There is um, a, a fabulous series of presentations that Dr. Sandra um, shares. Uh, with some information slides that you'll find not only fascinating, but also empowering for your own health and well-being. And on that, that note, let's make it a, a fabulous, happy and healthy 2018. Take care. Have a great week. Aloha. Aloha.